What's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. So, this whole Samson data story seems to unravel a little bit more. Um, also today, in addition to Samson saying he's been dealing with an illness and he's going to go get checked out by a hospital, we also got the announcement a couple hours after Samson's post that his coach, Milos, and him are parting ways. Now, I think two or three videos ago it was that I told you guys I had heard a rumor that Samson was looking for a new coach, and it turned out that that part of the rumor is true. So I can tell you the second part of the rumor that I heard is that the new coach he's going to be working with is Neil Hill. And again, just a rumor, but the first half, I guess, turned out to be true. So maybe that other part is true as well. So Milos put up a post and a bunch of physique updates of Samson, and this is what the post had to say. And I do want to preface this because I think it might be noteworthy that since Milos has posted this, and he posted this much earlier today, he posted this, um, let's see, six hours ago now, Samson hasn't posted anything about Milos on his feed or on his stories or really mentioned him at all since the show ended. And I think that is significant. I don't know what exactly that means, but uh, Samson hasn't acknowledged any of this at all himself. So I wonder if there's some type of bad blood there. And again, it's interesting that it's the same day that Samson is saying he's having this illness or these health issues. And the rumor that I heard about this was that it was just some kind of upper respiratory, potentially infection or something COVID-like. Maybe he just picked up some kind of little virus at the expo, something like that. I heard it's nothing too crazy serious and that overall he's just feeling under the weather. So it could be completely unrelated his health issues and then the issues with Milos, if there were any or whatever they might've been. But anyway, this is what Milos had to say. He said, after two and a half years together and 13 shows together, this was our last dance. Needless to say, I'm beyond proud of Samson and what he has accomplished in a very short time that we worked together. He has completely transformed his physique and morphed himself into one of the very best bodybuilders in a world and, gr and a greatest threat for the Mr. Olympia title. As the whole world knows with improved conditioning that we failed to bring, he will be extremely hard to beat. Wishing Samson and Marlena the best in the world, and most importantly for Samson, fulfillment of his destiny. Hashtag the next. So this situation is interesting, and I hope it's not a bad blood type of situation, because realistically, it, it always seems dramatic when bodybuilders and coaches have these breakups. But realistically, most of these bodybuilders that we saw, even competing in the Arnold this weekend, have all changed coaches like half a dozen times. No one stays with the same coach their entire career, or at least almost nobody. So a lot of times, it's not as dramatic as it might seem when an athlete leaves a coach. But this time, it feels a little different. I think we should keep in mind, though, Milos is the one that got Samson to this point. He got Samson an Arnold Classic win. He got Samson... However many pro wins, but several, he got Samson a top three Olympia placing. So even though we've kind of had this same criticism of Samson for the past maybe year and a half, yes, he's big, he's aesthetic, he's an amazing bodybuilder, but it's kind of like if you remember back the early, the early days of Big Rami, the same thing we kept saying about Rami, he just needs to really bring that next level of conditioning. He really needs to dial it in. He really, that's all he needs to do, and once he does that, He's going to be unstoppable, and that's kind of the same thing we've been saying about Samson really since the last Arnold Classic win is to beat guys like Hottie Chupin that are conditioning guys. He's got to really level it up, and it, it, it's not really a knock on him. It's just the truth that he just hasn't done that. It's certainly not like he looked bad here at the Arnold Classic. His, his conditioning just was not good enough to beat Heidi Chupin, and I thought that it was pretty obvious and pretty evident at both prejudging and finals. To me, it didn't seem like it was even close because we kind of knew going into this show, and the judges had said this at the Olympia too, and they said it after the Arnold. We kind of knew that conditioning was going to be the deciding factor. We knew that's what the judges wanted from Samson, and that's what he needed to do if he had a chance at beating Heidi. And I think it was pretty clear at both prejudging and finals, he just didn't do that. So maybe he is just disappointed with his placing. Maybe he is just disappointed with the package that he brought this weekend. Maybe he does just want to try to find a coach 
that can level him up because maybe Milos could only get him so far. Maybe this is as far as they could go together in the conditioning aspect, that piece of the puzzle maybe just isn't something Milos can bring for him. And maybe that's all this is, is that Samson thinks with a different coach, he's going to be able to level up and maybe he will. I just think, you know, the part about this that seems like it might be a little bit dramatic is the fact that Samson hasn't acknowledged it. He hasn't thanked, you know, that's the thing is, you know, after the Arnold Classic, even though I'm sure he was disappointed with second place, he didn't post like a thank you post or anything acknowledging Milos, which I thought was interesting. And then again, Milos making this announcement today, this the fact that it's the same day that Samson announced these health issues, whatever they are. And even on this post from Milos, you look at one of the top comments from Fuad, Samson's good friend, and he sponsors Samson. Fuad says Samson has no el- no health issues. Samson is not in the hospital, and Samson is not retiring. That should clear up some of the rumors before they start. Milos, you've done a good job with Samson, and congrats on your partnership. So that to me was interesting because it's not you know these these aren't rumors that people are making up. Samson said these things himself on his story. He said he's been sick. Well, his exact words were he's been ill since the competition. And he's going to check into the hospital because he feels like something's not right. So that's the part that I don't really understand is there's like this weird aura about what's going on with Samson. I mean, I don't think I never thought he was retiring, but Samson did say in his own words on his story that he was sick and he is experiencing some issues. And because of that, he's going to the hospital. So now with, with Fuad's comment there, I don't really know what to believe. And it kind of makes the whole situation seem a little bit weirder. Now, at the end of this video, I'm going to share with you guys the full context of Samson's story. So the post about the hospital was on his story. And there was a bunch of other posts, I think a total of like five to six minutes of stories from Samson, where he's talking about like some of the criticism and the hate that he's got. He said his family is getting hate and people have been disrespecting him, humiliating him. And I kind of wonder if any of that is directed at maybe something that Milos has said. Maybe he's angry at Milos for something he posted or something he said. Because honestly, I haven't really seen... You know, because Samson said he got, he got back from finals, he got home, and he was all happy. He thought he looked good. He thought he did a good job. And then he got home and was disappointed to see the disrespect that was levied towards him. And honestly, I haven't really seen any. I haven't... You know, maybe in his comments or something, but I haven't seen anybody disrespecting his family or disrespecting him. I think the general main thing that I've seen mostly everybody say is he looked good. He just wasn't conditioned enough to beat Hottie, and it was pretty obvious. That's that's really all that I've seen. So I think that piece of his story was interesting in and of itself because I haven't really seen any outward hate towards Samson, certainly not towards his family. Maybe you guys you guys can fill me in if you guys have seen it, but I, I haven't. And all I've really seen is people saying he just wasn't in condition, which is a true critique. And I don't think that's hate at all. Honestly, I think Samson is one of the more well-liked bodybuilders right now. He seems like a really good ambassador and a really likable dude and a really positive guy. I, I haven't really seen him get much hate. But I'm going to go ahead and roll some of those Samson stories at the end of here. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Why do you think Samson and Milo split up? Do you think it was a mutual decision? Do you think Samson fired Milos or do you think Milos maybe got rid of Samson or do you think they had a bad falling out? Um, again, I heard a rumor that he might be working with Neil Hill going into the UK show. Um, I'm leaning towards that rumor being true based on the confirmation that we just got earlier in this video that he did leave Milos. And the other rumor I'm hearing is that the health issues that he's having, it's like an upper respiratory infection. It's not like heart related. It's not like it's, it doesn't sound like something serious, but again, I don't know for sure. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. But here are some of Samson's stories, elaborating a little bit more on his thoughts about all this. Again, not addressing Good morning. Meals at all. How you all doing? How's it going? So yeah, we're back home in the UK, and uh, it's been a it's been a few days since um, since the show, and uh, it's been a lot going on. And a lot of things has been happening since then, you know, we're trying to just obviously get back and get back to, um, get back to us and do what we do. But it hasn't been, it's been far from easy and, uh, it has definitely been a struggle and, uh, I've been absolutely ill since the show, you know, 
this is one of those things where when you're that low low body fat and you spend a lot of times in obviously expos and meeting people and everything else things can tend to your body's more vulnerable than what it usually is but with that said you know it's one thing you know going to a show you know we pushed we pushed and like i said before this one i i gave my absolute best for this one you know i've gone from show to show uh competing to competing and i've given my heart out and i gave my absolute best for this one i mean if some of you watch my story a few days ago uh, a few weeks ago i said look I don't know if I have anything left to give. I've given everything else. If I push any more, I think I'm gonna wind up in hospital. And uh, we really, you know, dug deep for that. And we brought our best to the stage. We've never been that good before. We brought our best to the stage and we battled. And oh, fuck me, we battled. And I absolutely loved every moment of it. I. <laughs> It was one of the most epic moments I've ever had on stage, going head to head with uh, Mr. Olympian and battling out with him. And I felt nothing but pride and joy doing that, you know, and at the end of the day, the better man won. And I felt nothing but pride and I held my head up high and said, you know what, it was worth it. It was all awesome. And I, I conceded that, yeah, a better man won, you know, and I felt like, you know what, we gave everybody a show we we gave everybody our best and after prejudging you know we were told how close it was and we were told that we had to come better the next day so i even dug deeper than i've ever dug before for the for the finals and uh we took a lot uh, made a sacrifice that you know what i could say that right now i might just regret a little bit but you know what? I came back better on a, on a Saturday, and you know what? We we gave everything for it. And you know what? The better man won, and I conceded to that. And I'm like, yeah. I shook his hand and I hugged him and I said, bro, you're amazing. absolutely amazing, and you're a warrior. And this for me is what bodybuilding is about. It's two warriors on stage, with every single one of us fighting to be to bring our best, to try to bring our best at that point. And at the end of the day, regardless of win, lose, or draw, if you know you're giving your all, you shake the other man's hand and you say, well done. Now, that is one thing, to do that and feel that way and feel that respect for each other on stage and that respect for what the sport we've done on stage. But it's another thing to come off stage and then have nothing but disrespect, you know, given to you and your family for what for sport for this to have my family disrespected to have me disrespected so badly for not winning when i gave everything remember after the olympia i said i came out and i said we have to make this sport better we have to respect each other we have to be more understanding of each other and it feels like that completely fell on deaf ears we sacrifice a lot to do this sport we sacrifice a lot of our health and our body and our family's privacy and peace to do this but to not to come out and be disrespected so badly by people that have no right to do so and to humiliate us and my family because of the joys of what you felt is just and you felt is your opinion it's nothing but utter disrespect and you should be ashamed of yourself for doing that. Now, with that said, it's not cool. It's not on. It's not cool. It's one thing doing the critique. Oh man, he's, he came at his best, but he just, just needs to be a little bit better. That's a critique. It's another thing to utterly destroy someone's hard work by saying such hateful things about them because of what exactly a sport look i told you i don't come from the bodybuilding world i don't come from this i came from a normal job less than three years ago half of you didn't even know who i was i worked my way every ounce to get here and to be humiliated because i'm doing my best is an insult to me and my family 
And it hits hard when you're trying your all and you're being insulted like that. All Saturday, I was happy. All Sunday, I was happy. I was like, man, what a battle. What a, what a weekend. And then I'm coming home to all this negativity and all this because what reason? Did we not do our best on that stage? Did we not bring our best? You, you're destroying our reputation and ourselves just to make yourself feel better. For what? This isn't, this isn't bodybuilding anymore. This isn't cool. And if you all don't can if literally people can't see that, then why would I want to push to get on stage again? I mean, do you ever stop to ask yourself that? If we, I am third in the world and I'm second at the Arnold Classic. I'm an Arnold Classic champion. I'm getting disrespected for what? Bringing my best to the stage and not winning? And I'm being disrespected for it? Is that cool? Is that on? Is that right? But you know what? Fair enough. Maybe, you know, maybe I don't understand. Maybe I come from different breed. I come from a different time. I come from a different life. So I don't understand how this works. And I put my hands up and say, I don't get it. I don't. But as of now, you know, this after I have to take myself to the hospital to get checked out because I don't know. My body is just... I'm trying to push through, I'm trying to train, I'm trying to get through it, but my body is just failing at this point. And honestly, I just don't know what else I could do. So given what is happens to me in the next few days, after we get checked out in the hospital, and um, what happens and the results of that, it will determine if I will be doing the Arnold Classic UK next week. And I have to wait and see how that result comes back and if I'll be able to proceed and carry on pushing my body to the limits that it is. So, you know, I am really hoping that's not the case. I'm really hoping I can somehow carry this on and keep fighting because that's all I've ever done all my life is keep fighting against all odds. But when my health is starting to fail, family and I are being dragged through the mud. I have to really stop and question why I'm doing this and why I'm putting them through this. But I really hope, by all my heart, I really hope that that's not the case. So guys, I'll carry on updating you on how this goes. And as soon as I know what we, what the plan is and what exactly I'm, I'm able to do and how serious this is, um, I'll let you guys know. All right, guys, don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to this channel if you enjoy the content. Also, check out my Instagram at Nick Strength Power, my Facebook page, which is simply Nick Strength and Power, my secondary YouTube channel, Nick Strength and Vlogs, for vlogs and bonus content that you will not see on this channel. And consider subscribing to my third YouTube channel, Nick Strength and Pokemon, which is all things Pokemon and trading card games completely unrelated to this channel. So if you're into that, Give that one a look, and all links to merchandise and social media will be in the description box below. If you guys want a Nick Strength and Power t-shirt, that will be in the Shopify link below. Have a great day.